Congratulations on your new Zariba fence. Protecting your garden just got a lot easier. Never set up an electric fence before? We'll walk you through it. Before you begin, make sure you have a tool to cut the wire. If you're close to a reliable source of power, you're probably using an AC charger. If your garden is farther from power, a battery-powered DC charger is the best option. If you're using an AC charger, make sure to mount your fence energizer securely in a waterproof place and unplug it before working on the fence. Drive the ground rod into the ground, leaving two inches showing, then tighten on the ground rod clamp. Attach the wire to the energizer by unscrewing the knob and making a loop of wire to go around the bolt, then tightening the knob over the wire. Connect the ground line to the energizer by inserting the hookup wire into the clamp and tightening the screw. Plug in or turn on the charger. Test your energizer by grounding the fence tester and hanging it from the fence terminal. Place the fence stakes around your garden, no more than 10 feet apart. If you need to cover a larger area, additional posts and wire can be found online or at your local retailer. Check to ensure that your energizer is turned off or unplugged before working with the wire. Hook up the fence wire in the same way you hooked up the ground wire. Beginning with the bottom line, string the wire through the posts, selecting the wire spacing and height needed for whatever animals are threatening your garden. Make sure the line doesn't touch grass or other plants. As you string the top wire, make sure to hang the provided warning signs on the fence to protect against accidental contact. Plug in or turn on the charger and use the fence tester by hanging the tester on the line to make sure the fence is functioning properly. Congratulations, your garden is protected.